It's the first week in January, and a new national lockdown has just begun, closing schools for the second time. These new restrictions have coincided with sub-zero temperatures hitting the Dales. Is she hungry? Yeah. Because um, the grass is getting covered up with snow, that means you can't get to it. Is she our friend? Mm -hmm. Like the first lockdown, we're no longer able to film the family ourselves. So once again, Amanda is capturing their unique life on her phone. Oh, it's snowing, isn't it, Clem? Yeah. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Yeah, very cold. But you're warm enough, aren't you? Yeah. And what are we doing? We're feeding the sheep. What are you giving them? We're giving them nice hay that's dry. You're right. Have you smelt it? What does it smell like? Nice hay that's you... dry. Yes. Do you remember making that in the summer? Yeah. Do you think the sheep are enjoying it? Yeah. With it being so snowy, the sheep are very hungry. Yeah, but if we don't need them, they'll not really survive. You're right. You're right, they need their food, don't they? Mm -hmm. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> well done, Annie. Have you got all your calves in? Oh, oh Clemmy, thank you. You take it to the back so they're nice and cosy. <laughs> oh, thank you, girls. It's kind of like a little mini farm here, isn't it? Yeah. With all your cows. Clemmy and the rest of the children will have to give newborn Misty and the rest of their calves constant care in the freezing cold. <laughs> She's enjoying that, isn't she? The Owens have been feeding a pair of tawny owls for the past year. And now it's breeding season, Amanda and Nancy have made a discovery in the hayloft. We've come up here for some straw, haven't we? Yeah. And what have we found? An owl and a nest. We found a tawny owl sitting on some eggs. So shall we have a little look? Let's go and have a look and see how many eggs there are. So we see your owl? Let's go and see us. So there, that's the first time I've ever found an owl nest. She's got three beautiful eggs. So that is really exciting, isn't it, Nancy? Is that exciting? Yeah. So you could have potentially three baby owls in here. Yeah. How good is that? You're going to have to get good with that mouse trap. Yeah. Aren't you? What, Brilliant. But we need to find a mouse for that tawny owl. We do need to find a mouse for that tawny owl. Concerned the owls could go hungry at this crucial time, Nancy and Amanda head back to the farmhouse to collect a tasty treat from the family's larder. We have caught a mouse in the dairy. So we've brought it up here and um, popped it on the windowsill as an owl snack. Do you think the owl will like it? Mm-hmm. The following morning, Amanda's taking Nancy to the owl barn to check up on the parents-to-be. Go on, go on in. Joined by seven-year-old Annie. Well, we've come to see whether the owl has eaten our food that we put out yesterday. And one owl was here. And the other one's still here. Perched up behind me. Kids, come on in quietly. What can you see? Can you see? What do you think, girls? It's really nice and cute. Do you need to go find you another mouse? Yeah. Right, let's go on. Yeah. yeah. I'll find, find another mouse. I'll find another mouse. Find another mouse. Back at the farmhouse after a morning of schoolwork, the children are on their lunch break. 
It's a pretty day, because look at the sun. Making the most of the sunshine, the kids are off on an impromptu picnic. Do you want to go to the houses or here? Here. 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 We're eating um, our picnic uh, right next to an old barn. We'll have the uh, pasties first, again. Pasties! Yum, yum! They're still warm, everyone. This is Nancy's one. Thank you. Clemmy, I mean Annie, yeah? What's up, Clemmy? No more yes for you. <laughs> the cheese and onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look, can you see our house? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you see my house? Oh. The film don't keep you. Nancy may be the youngest, but she still wants a turn with the kid cam. <laughs> Annie, now I can see your butt. Don't be rude. OK. Face it up, face it up. Hi, Dad. Yeah. Not me, let's turn this around. Annie, let's take a picture of ourselves. Smile. She may have a lot to learn, but it doesn't take this four-year-old long to become queen of the selfies. Hi, Dad. Dead? <laughs> In a ravine close to the farmhouse, ten-year-old Violet has discovered a forest of ice. How big do you think some of those icicles are? They're absolutely massive. Look at this bit, we've just fallen. This is really huge and heavy. Can I take this bit of ice home? So you're going to take it back home with you? I want to prove to everyone that this is a that this is the tiniest piece, but it's absolutely huge. Would it be OK if we smash it up and I have it in a gin and tonic tonight? OK. As as I get one too. <laughs> and this is one of the smallest bits. That's one of the smallest oh, no. bits. Yeah? That's a small bit compared to the rest. I only had one. Yes. And if I do decide to have a gin and tonic, I'll come out and chip a bit of it. It's the beginning of February, and the family's been filming themselves in lockdown for four weeks. Oh, thank you, Ida. And following the toughest conditions in years, everyone's up early tending their flock. So, what do we need for the sheep? Uh, some hay. Is there any bales left in this barn? There's only one. One bale. Well, that's all we need, isn't it? Yeah. So, are we going to go and get it out? Yeah, yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> uh, should we get this hair bale, then? Who's strong? Me. Oh, look at Annis. She is strong. Clemmy, can you help? You're going to roll it. Roll. 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 The whole family is pulling together during lockdown. And after a month on the farm, the youngest children are growing in confidence. Wait, turn it this way, Dad. Perfect. Let's go through that door. OK, other way. Teamwork Please. makes the teamwork. What did you say, Nancy? The teamwork makes the dream work. That's it. Teamwork makes the dream work. I love your determination. <laughs> Taking advantage of the rare winter sun, the children are out tending their animals. Kira is still very much your pet cow, isn't she? Yep. Misty, their rejected calf, is growing bigger by the day thanks to Annie's kind care. And Clemmy's even treating Tony the pony to a pedicure. Lean into him at the same time so he moves his weight onto the other that leg. Is. Yeah, that's it. He moves his weight onto the other leg then. You've got it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony nearly fell over. <laughs> Good girl, you've nearly got him. You've nearly done it. Way, you've got it. It's a good lesson to learn. It takes a lot to care for a horse, doesn't it? 